This is Mr. Van Kaplan here, and in your green architecture class today, you're going to learn how to put floors into the classroom you've created in Revit. The first thing you want to do, make sure you're on your floor plan in a 2D mode. So if you open it, and it looks like this with 3D, just double click here on the one you've named floor, and we're going to put in floors today. So go to your architecture tab. You can see you have the wall, door, window, component. We've used all of those down here you have floor so click that and then you have a variety of different shapes you can use the rectangle we'll use most often when you create your houses and things like that but with this room we have a boundary or we have a um, this little bump out here so it's going to be easier just to use the line okay so click this line and then you're just going to outline and I try to go to the outer walls okay a little bit between them. So you draw this line and it's going to go through the doorway there. So basically you're going to retrace your walls. And the lines are that pinkish purple color. And you can't have anything open. Okay, so now we've closed that off. Your default is a generic floor. Think about our classroom. It has a tile floor. So scroll down here. You have a wood joist ceramic tile. Let's click that. And then once you've done that, hit this green check. And it should turn like a bluish color. Okay. Now you can't tell yet because we're just using the um, the hidden line. Change this. Click down here and change it to realistic. And you can see it puts a gray tile in. Okay. Now obviously our tile in the classroom is not gray. So we're going to change that, okay? And what we're going to do, and you're going to be able to do this when you do your houses and your tiny home and things like that, you're going to go to Lowe's or Home Depot or Menards and find the actual floor you want, and we'll know the price and everything, and we'll use that picture. So you should have this. We're on the realistic view. It makes it gray. Let's look at our 3D view, okay? That's still on hidden line, so you can get down here, change that to realistic as well. And it adds some color. It makes your tables look wood. Your doors are wood, like we have. Uh, the desk has a wooden top. Okay. But our floors in the classroom aren't gray, so we're going to change that. Okay. The first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go to Google, and we're just going to use Google Images. So I'm going to put a white slash gray tile floor. Okay, well, those are all a little bit too dark. So let's just put white tile. And the good thing is to put sample. Okay. You can look at the floor and kind of find something kind of close here. I'm going to go with this one here. So you'll click that, right click, save image as, and to make it easy, I would put it in your Revit folder. So I'm going to put class floor, floor sample. Save that. Okay, so now we're going to switch back to Revit. And this will work on your exterior materials all sorts of things so make sure you pay attention and understand what we're doing here because you're going to use this a lot in the future let me get that zoomed in a little bit okay so hover here over your floor you click it okay it says what you have a floor wood joist 10 inch ceramic tile click edit type okay and it's going to bring up this tab of properties so click edit and let's see we've got a tile mosaic click that there's going to be these little dots. Click that. And this is probably the most time consuming thing you'll do in Revit. Okay. So it says tile mosaic gray. We're going to make a new material. So click this little plus sign, create new material. It comes up as default new material. Right click, rename it. I'm going to say white tile 
sample. Okay. Then you go over here to appearance. You click this image. And then I have my classroom floor sample. Hit open. Make sure it matches the image you saved. Then you hit OK. You hit OK. Hit OK. And now we have that floor. Okay, and you can see it's a little bit of white and gray. The realistic, um, if you want to draw on that, that's fine. Another one that let, makes it look really real is ray trace. And it takes it a second because it changes the graphics and the uh, contrast. So it takes it a second to load. Okay, and you can see now that looks really realistic, but it's really slow. Uh, later you'll learn how to do some walkthroughs and things like that, and we can use that. But then I would go back to realistic. You don't want to draw in the ray trace. It just takes way too long. Okay, so now we've put that floor in. Um, and when we start doing homes and stuff, we'll add the floors and pick those out before you put your furniture in. It's a little bit easier. Um, but again, you're just looking at those outside walls to draw your floor. And now I have a realistic view in both. Uh, I have to add the chairs and the cabinets still. But that's how you do the floors. And uh, later when we do our houses and things like that, you can pick any type of wood, carpet, tile. You know, you get a chance to be creative and pick the style of flooring that you would like. After you've done the floor, just go up there and click the save button and it's going to overwrite that and now you'll have your new floors in there. And uh, that's it for today.